Hello and welcome to this edition of News Hour: 60 Minutes of News from China and Around the World on CCTV International. I'm Liang Hong. Israeli troops are continuing to withdraw from Gaza after their government, as well as Hamas, called for halt to the three-week conflict. Both sides put their best spin on the conflict's seeming conclusion, despite neither side achieving long-term goals. But as Xie Zheng points out, it's clear that uh, non-combatants uh, were the biggest losers. Palestinians emerged from hiding, agape at the killing of more than 1,300 Gazans, and also at the widespread destruction of homes and government infrastructure. Although there is still no long-term ceasefire agreement, Gazans welcomed the week-long halt of attacks by Hamas. Following Israel's declaration of unilateral ceasefire, the truth is good for people, so people can live and be ready for anything. But Israel hasn't left the Gaza. Israeli tanks are still there. The planes are maneuvering. The navy is every day shooting from the sea. What withdrawal are they talking about? Nevertheless, the head of Hamas has claimed a popular victory against Israel. This victory manifested itself in the enemy's defeat on the political, military, and moral level. It failed in achieving its goals and in imposing its conditions on our people and our brief resistance. The Israeli tanks are silent. Some soldiers are smiling, and analysts say a swift withdrawal of Israeli troops might reduce the likelihood of clashes that could rupture the truce. The Israeli military is warning that the next few days are critical. It says any Hamas attacks will be met with harsh retaliation. Prime Minister Ehud Olmert has declared the mission accomplished. He also says his country has no desire to stay in Gaza. We want to leave the Gaza Strip as quickly as possible, as soon as we are sure that the ceasefire exists and is stable, and there is no danger to the security of southern Israel. Although skeptical about how long the ceasefire will last, the residents of southern Israel, often the target of Hamas rockets, hope peace will prevail. We hope uh, all is changed and we can uh, live uh, together with uh, peace. No fire, no blood, no uh, kill. We want uh, just to live. With them, it's okay. But at least for now, Gaza's situation stands much the same as it did before the conflict, with an armed standoff and dim prospects for the 1.5 million Palestinians fast inside.